And welcome back everyone for week five of the 2018 NFL season, week six of the NCAA football season. Speaking of which, my good friend Billy B went three and one again with his picks last week. Now last week, we accidentally gave you the wrong number, uh, Oklahoma minus 24, I think we said plus 24, but you guys are smart, you guys are savvy, you figured it out. Billy still went three and one, so you doubled your money if you took his bets. Here's Billy's bets for this week. All right, what's up, everybody? As you guys probably could have guessed, I went three and one again for five weeks in a row. I am five, uh, 15 and five overall in college picks this year, which is uh, I would say pretty damn good. Um, hopefully, this will be my four and zero week. So my picks for college week six are Arizona State plus three, Michigan minus seventeen, Georgia Southern minus twelve and a half, and Florida plus two. So there you have it for my picks for college. I'm going to send it on over to Gio for his uh, NFL picks right now. The first game we're going to look at has the New York Giants going to Carolina, where the Panthers are six and a half point favorites at home. If you've watched enough of Eli Manning, you, you know this guy's got nothing left on the fastball. Yeah, they're overthrows or underthrows. The Giants have to run the ball to win. Uh, they have a good running back with Saquon Barkley. Unfortunately, they run into a Carolina Panthers defense. Very good, especially against the run. The Panthers are coming off the bye week as well. Uh, the price is under a touchdown. I like the Panthers to really run away with this game. So let's lay the points and let's take the Carolina Panthers minus six and a half. The total in that game is 43 and a half. It's been dropping a bit. We'll come back to that later. I, I really like the under in that game if you want to take that as well. The second game we're going to look at has the Miami Dolphins going to Cincinnati where the Bengals are now five point favorites at home. That number's dropped a little bit too. Uh, kind of similar teams, uh, pretty good quarterback and lots of talent on both sides of the ball. Miami really got spanked last week against the Patriots. It happens. Yeah, they're not the first team to have that happen to them, and it hasn't been the first time. They'll rebound. They're not quite that bad. The Bengals, meanwhile, had a great game in Atlanta. They pulled one out of their backside, actually. Uh, they might be coming down on a bit of emotional high off that game. I like these two teams. They're very similar. Just too many points here. I think the Bengals will win, but just not by the number. So let's take the points, and let's take Miami plus five. The third game we're going to look at has uh, Arizona going to San Francisco, where the Niners are four and a half point favorites at home. The kid Rosen did pretty well last week in his debut at home. Now he goes on the road. I know the scrub is playing for San Francisco, but that's a very good defense. I think it's, this is going to be a pretty low scoring game. I think San Francisco is going to cover the spread pretty easily. So let's, let's lay the points and let's take the San Francisco 49ers minus four and a half. And the fourth game we're going to look at is the Monday nighter as the Washington Redskins go to New Orleans where the the Saints are six and a half point favorites at home. The Saints defense is in a lot of trouble. They're really banged up. Yeah, they played really well last week, but they're going to get a Washington Redskins team that's coming off the bye. Actually, I think this is because of the Monday nighter, they're going to have the extra day too. Washington's scoring a lot of points. They had one this really strange loss a couple of weeks ago. I can't remember, but I think this is a pretty good Washington team. Well, I do my rankings video every week and I get a lot of Washington Redskins fans saying, come on, you're undervaluing the Redskins here. And maybe I have been. I think they'll keep this close. Whether they win or not is a different story, but let's take the points. Let's take the Washington Redskins plus six and a half. All right, so last week NFL, I went 2-1-1, one, one, which brings me to 8-6-2 overall. I'm not too happy with that, so hopefully I can get a 3-1 or 4-0 oh week in NFL this week. And with my first pick, I'm going to give you the New England Patriots, minus 10 versus the Colts on Thursday Night Football. The uh, Patriots have won seven straight games versus the Colts, and they've averaged winning them games by 19 points. So uh, they're getting Julian Edelman back. Josh Gordon's got another week under his belt. And um, it's tough to play on the road on Thursday night, so that's why I like the Patriots minus 10. Next pick I'm going to give you is the Denver Broncos plus one against the Jets. The Broncos can go one of two ways here. They can be really angry and upset that they uh, blew a big lead to a division rival on Monday Night Football and come out and play uh, one of the best games that they'll play all year, or they can fold. 
Now I expect them to show some pride here. Um, I know it's going to be tough to go from West Coast to East Coast and play an early game, but I think the Broncos are going to show up this game. I'll actually be at the game, so I'm hoping that the uh, Broncos show up. Um, so that's what I'm banking on. Uh, Case Keenum hasn't, hasn't been playing very well, but I expect him to uh, play a good game here. So take the Denver Broncos plus one. Next pick I'm going to give you is the Buffalo Bills plus three and a half against the Tennessee Titans. Now the Titans have come off back-to-back uh, -back wins. They're very hard-fought wins. Um, now they're going to be traveling to Buffalo. Uh, this is what I like to call a big trap game. Everybody is going to be taking the Titans in this one. Uh, on paper, they are the way better team. But I think Buffalo will show up here, and I actually um, think that the Bills might win this game, but I like the uh, three and a half points here. So take the Buffalo Bills plus three and a half. All right, and for my last pick, I like the Houston Texans, minus three against the Dallas Cowboys. Houston's at home. It's a Sunday night football game. Uh, crowd should be going. It's a battle of Texas. Uh, the the uh, Texans have a lot of uh, questionable players in Miller, Hopkins, Fuller, uh, but I expect them all to play. Uh, the Texans should stack the box, make uh, Dak Prescott beat them, and I don't think he's going to be able to do that. So I like the Houston Texans, minus three. So there you have it for my picks for the week. Head on over to Geo for his teaser plays. For my part I play, we'll put the picks right beside my big fat head. We'll take Carolina minus six and a half, Miami plus five, Washington plus six and a half. We'll take San Francisco and the LA Rams on the money line. And we'll take the New York Giants Carolina game under 43 and a half. A $25 bet will get us $640 and five cents. For my six game six point teaser, we'll tease the Panthers down to minus a half. We'll tease Miami to plus 11, Washington to plus 12 and a half. We'll tease Denver to plus seven. They're, mine, uh, they're, they're one point dogs in that game against the Jets. We'll tease them to plus seven. And we'll tease the Houston Texans who are minus three to plus three. I know my good friend Moon doesn't like to cross the zero, but we'll, well, I think Houston will just win that game. And this way you'll get the points. And we'll tease the Giants Carolina game uh, the total to 49 and take the under, a $25 bet will get us $175. And for something different, we're going to do a couple of teaser plays. You know, I play a lot of these, and uh, I know a lot of you on the Facebook page say, hey, what's your two-point two-game teaser? And I post them usually on, on Sunday morning. We've been really successful with them, so I, I know some of you have been asked to include them in the video, so here we go. We'll tease the Carolina Panthers down to minus a half a point, and the under, uh, well, we'll tease that uh, up to 49 and a half and take the under, a $25 bet will get us $45.83. And then in, the, in that Bengals-Miami game, We'll tease Miami to plus 11, and we'll tease the total down and take over 42 and a half. The Bengals have been scoring a lot. And uh, again, a $25 bet will get us $45.83. And then we'll combine those two uh, over-unders in the, in the two games. And, uh, uh, and this time, I'm so confident in this game, I'm putting $50 down. A $50 bet will get us $175. Good luck. All right, my teaser play did not win last week. Uh, I am now one and two on the season on my teasers. So here's my teaser for this week. It's a $25 bet that returned $250, and it's a six-point teaser. First pick, we got the Patriots minus four, Jaguars plus nine, Bills plus nine and a half, Broncos plus six, Cardinals plus 10, the Raiders Chargers over 52 and a half, the Dolphins Bengals over 48 and a half, so good luck.
All right, so there you have it for our picks this week. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, subscribe, hit them comments below. We like to hear from you guys. We try to re um, respond to everybody. Uh, we really enjoy the comments. So with that, good luck. I'm Billy B for Geo. Let's take the man's money.